Hi Mel here, a little swirl tutorial for you, a few of you have requested that I do it, so I have. Um, thank you to all the techs that helped me learn how to do them, and I'm hoping that I've broken it down enough for you to follow what I do. Let me know if you need any more clarification. So you'll need a long thin brush, I use the Zero Long from Crystal Nails, and some tack free art gel and again I'm using Crystal Nails Royal Gel in Black for this. I've prepped a tip with two coats of gel polish and then used an additive to give it a shimmery ombre effect. Top coated it, cured and wiped off the inhibition layer. So picking the point I want my final lines to go to, I place a dot and then I wipe my brush and then I start to drag that dot of gel out. So because my swirl is going to the left of my nail, I am putting my dot on the right of the line each time and then dragging it in into a curve. So any straight lines are just a dot with a tail. I think they look like um, little tadpoles uh, and little commas. So that's kind of the only way I can describe it, really. So keep placing the lines on back to that one point sorry we're out of shot a little bit but always release the pressure when you've done the dot and then you drag out lift the brush up slightly and drag out you want the line to become thinner as it gets to the bottom and if you keep the same pressure on then you you won't get that you'll just get one solid line so here's a matte top coated nail so i've got my point and i'm going to do the same again so any swirls going to the left my dot goes to the right of the line each time also if you find that your lines are bleeding or the self leveling the gel that you're using is probably a little bit too thin which is why i like to use an art gel as they are a little bit thicker and stay where you put them So we're just building up the design now, always coming back to that point that you've chosen, always putting a dot of gel to start, lifting the brush up, decreasing the pressure and lightly dragging out. It's all very fairy steps, nothing too heavy handed, but it does help if you've got a good brush and some good thick gel. So what I've done with this is I've added some gold highlights to this one just to give it a little bit more depth and movement so as you can see I've just used Nail Artist's gold gel gel art paint I've popped some little dots on there as well and I'm just outlining just a few of the strokes that I've made thank you very much for listening I hope my first tutorial wasn't too bad and hopefully I can make you a few more soon thank you very much bye